The polynomial f of x is x to the fourth plus ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d has real coefficients. And we know f of 2i is equal to f of 2 plus i is 0. So we know 2i and 2 plus i are the root of this polynomial. And since the polynomial has real coefficients, that's telling us that negative 2i and 2 minus i are zeros as well. So that's what we're starting out with and we wish to find a plus b plus c plus d. Now, since we know all four of the roots, 2i minus 2i, 2 plus i, 2 minus i, you may say, you may say, if you're adventurous, you can use a Vieta's formula. We can use a Vieta's formula to separately find a, b, c, and d, and just add them up. But obviously, that's going to take a long time, and no one has time for that. So that's not how we're going to approach it. Now, one thing I realize when I see this question, is that a plus b plus c plus d is very close to the value of f at 1. Because what is f of 1? That's 1 plus when x is 1. a plus b plus c plus d. And we want to find a plus b plus c plus d. So once we know value of f of 1, we should be done. But how do you find f of 1? Well, we know all of these zeros. So we know one way that f of x can be written. We know f of x can be written as x minus 2i, x plus 2i, x minus 2 plus i, times x minus 2 minus i, because you know 2i minus 2i, 2 plus i, and 2 minus i are zeros. So you know f can be factored in this form, and since leading coefficient is 1, we don't need to put anything except 1 at the front. And now finding f of 1 is very easy, because f of 1, because f of 1, is going to be 1 minus 2i times 1 plus 2i times when x is 1. We have 1 minus 2 minus i, which is negative 1 minus i. When x is 1, we have 1 minus 2 plus i or negative 1 plus i. And evaluating this is very easy to do. Multiplying these two, we get 1 times 1, it's difference of squares. So 1 squared minus 4 times i squared, and of course i squared is negative 1. And multiplying these two, we get negative 1 squared, which is 1. And we have minus i squared, which is of course going to be plus 1. And we see that this thing is 1 plus 4 times 1 plus 1, because i squared is negative 1. And that's 5 times 2, or 10. So we know f of 1 is 10. So we know 10 is equal to... 1 plus a plus b plus c plus d, and immediately that's telling us that a plus b plus c plus d is 9, or our answer is d.